Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I'm very sorry it has taken me a while to upload this one. Um, I actually painted this a while back and it is now available as prints. Uh, it's just taken me a while to up or not to upload but to edit these videos. Um, it's been pretty crazy busy lately and it's a good thing but at the same time I really want to put up like a crazy amount of videos and just like edit them and make all this awesome stuff for you guys to watch but I just get so caught up in everything that yeah I, I set aside all of today to just edit a bunch of videos so I'm editing like one two I, I'm editing like three videos today <laughs> and I recorded two so hopefully that'll be enough to suffice for a little bit um yeah I had a lot of fun doing this painting I, as usual, did it on my uh, Wacom Cintiq uh, 12WX and I did it on uh, Clip Studio Paint Pro, which is basically Manga Studio. They just changed the name um, for us Westerners who apparently don't understand what Manga is. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can tell, I am painting Garnet from Steven Universe and um, Pearl, Mama Bird, and I had a lot of fun painting this. I painted this around the time where when I started binge watching Steven Universe. Um, <laughs> it didn't take long for me to watch all of the episodes. I kind of went crazy, fell madly in love with it, and then just decided to watch all of the episodes. <laughs> um, I am so in love with that show, and I guess lots of people are. It's so amazing from like the art to like the expressions. Everything is just so funny and like it is the perfect just everything. The characters are so just like real and dynamic and the relationships are amazing and it's just incredible. There's a really weird sounding bird outside. Hold on. Do you hear that bird? Yep, it's gone now. What was it? Bird. Chroma seems to think it's still out there. Look at her. <laughs> Chroma, you're so weird. Anyways, <laughs> it's such an awesome show. Um, I got Lopi hooked on it too. He really likes it. At least I think he does. <laughs> okay, he's just laughing, so that basically means that he hated it. Um, hated it. <laughs> but yeah, I love it so much, and I just... Uh, I'm, I'm so excited about it. I love how it's like paced and it's like 11 minute um, episodes, but somehow they're just like packed full of awesome. And like even the filler episodes for some reason don't even bother me, which normally filler episodes piss me off a lot. Um, I think it's maybe, I don't know, it's still really awesome and funny regardless of the filler episodes, but also it's like, I don't know. I think the episodes are small enough that I don't feel like I'm wasting time watching a filler episode. But yeah, I love the show so much. Um, and <laughs> I don't know, like, I have so many favorite characters that it's just like, I can't even begin to... I think if I had to pick, my favorites would probably be Steven, uh, Mr. Universe, and uh, I really like how dynamic Pearl is, and Garnet's pretty cool, but I think Garnet used to be my favorite, but now I think it's more, yeah, Pearl, Steven, and Mr. Universe. Mr. Universe is hands down, like, gotta be the coolest dad ever. <laughs> I think he's just the coolest guy, and I don't know, I just love him, I want to give him a hug, and I, I want to give Steven a hug, because he's like the coolest kid ever, and I don't know, it's just such an awesome show. Uh, it's definitely become my favorite show aside from Legend of Korra and uh, I don't know, I just I love it so much, it's so awesome. Hmm? Oh yeah, and Brooklyn Nine 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 is also an awesome show that I love. If you guys haven't watched that, you should because it's freaking hilarious. Um, I'm actually gonna get a Brooklyn Nine Nine tattoo. And I've been thinking about maybe getting a Steven Universe tattoo, and I'm also getting a Korra tattoo. <laughs> um, I'd like to have like all my tribute stuff 
kind of gathered around my arms um, just because, I don't know, I'd like to look at it and be reminded of how awesome it is and the stories and like, I don't know, the enjoyment of being in the moment of the stories, just like, I don't know, I don't know if that's weird or what, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. And um, this painting, I think, it took me a while actually to do, I think maybe four, five, six, nah, probably like five-ish hours maybe, I don't know. I really should be counting how long it takes me to do these things, but I like kind of just getting into it and getting sucked into it and I forget about everything. Sometimes I forget to press the screen capture button again, so I end up missing everything because I just get super involved in the art process of it. But yeah, I really wish I could speed the videos up more. I'm really sorry about like how slow it's kind of going. Um, this is sped up a thousand percent, which you think would be a lot, but it's actually not that much with the program that I use, and I don't know if it's that they got the percentage wrong or or what, but they you can't speed it up any more than what it's already sped up to, which is kind of stupid. Um, I absolutely hate this program <laughs> for editing, but uh, yeah, I don't know what else to really use on my windows at this point. I'm just using it for the time being, but um, yeah, I have to say I had a lot of fun with this one. I really like the color palette. And I'm wanting to do more colorful stuff. I'm at this really weird kind of like point where my digital art is super colorful, and then my uh, my a lot of my um, traditional stuff isn't. It's like black and white stuff. I guess that's more so like my tattoo commissions. I have like various different styles. Like I, I tend to do something different with digital stuff, and then I'll do something else with pen. And then I'll do something else with like paints. <laughs> so it all like depends on the medium. Like different mediums I use change my style. It's really weird. Um, I guess I never, I don't know, I never really thought about it that much in terms of it being like separated by mediums. I always just kind of thought I was like not really knowing what to do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I have some awesome news, and I will be making a video um, about it soon. I ordered a bunch of stickers and bookmarks recently, and I'm so excited. I got the bookmarks in the mail, I don't know why they sent them separately, but uh, I got those and I love them so much. I like took them out and just smelt them. <laughs> they smelt like chemicals and paper. But I was like, oh my gosh, so fresh and amazing. Um, and yeah, so I'm super stoked about those. I'm gonna do a video showing you guys them because I'm just so freaking excited. But yeah, um, I ordered those and a bunch of stickers and I am going to be selling those soon. I'm trying to find more merch to put up on the store because um, I don't know, I want to, like, I love art and I love art prints, but. I'd like to make things that are like more usable, like I love stickers because you can like put it on your helmet, on your computer, like I don't know, just wherever. So I don't know, having stuff like that is really awesome, but I'd like to learn how I can do it myself or um, if I can find somebody who's like, you know, more like a more environmentally, environmentally friendly printer to make them. Um, or like to outsource them to or whatever. Uh, I ordered these ones not locally but I ordered them from Vancouver which is just across the water so it's not traveling too far but at the same time I'd really like to find somewhere locally at least so that way I'm not kind of I don't know putting that much <laughs> emissions into the air. <laughs> I don't know you guys probably think I'm crazy sometimes but like I want to try and go about selling things like as ethically and like sustainably as possible so I don't know I, I'm not sure how I should be going about doing it and I was thinking about like if I could find a type of paper and I could like print 
um, my own stickers on my printer because my printer is pretty awesome, but I don't know like the type of like vinyl thing, like sticker sheets that you might need to print those and everything. I feel like you'd need some pretty high quality stuff to do that and I certainly don't have like a cutting machine so I'd be cutting everything by hand, which I could totally do square stickers easy enough with that, but um, as for like circular stickers, I'd be horrible at cutting those and um, I think like die cut stickers, like where um, they're kind of like custom cut close to the edges of the artwork. Um, I I could probably do that, but I can't like guarantee the quality, right? Like of every single one, I can't. And it would just take so long, which it, it would be worth it if I could find like the proper um, sticker paper for it, but I'm not like, I don't know. I don't know how to go about it at this point. I'm still kind of learning and I've been Googling different things. For the most part, it seems like people get them um, outsourced from other big companies. But since I'm in Canada, it costs me a lot to outsource things from um, the States where everything seems to be cheaper. Um, the shipping is much higher and the Canadian dollar is absolutely horrible uh, right now. So I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to like figure out ways where I can make make myself some merch um i was thinking what would be really cool since i do want to put my like some designs on shirts i was thinking about eventually investing in a um, screen printer uh and kind of going about things that way and i would just like kind of print things on shirts and stuff um but the thing with me is that I don't feel comfortable buying a bunch of shirts unless they're like from sustainable sources and they're good quality and everything like that. So unless I found shirts that were awesome in that respect, I don't want to support kind of like the crazy consumerism that's happening right now. So I was thinking about maybe um, going and like thrifting shirts so everything like every shirt would be like one of a kind basically and i would just like print my designs on things so they'd be reused like recycled shirts and that way i would go out and find them and uh it'd be kind of like a fun day like finding these things and then i could uh i don't know just customize them and it, that way i'm getting them technically locally so um I don't know, it, I feel like that would maybe be better for me, um, so I don't know, it's just strange, weird plan things that I'm working on. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to do this in a way that fits with my like morals and beliefs and everything, but still like give you guys awesome product. So I'm going to be, I don't know, looking into ways to, uh, anyways, find more merch like that and sell you guys more products that aren't just like art prints. Um, I was thinking um, Jacqueline De Leon did, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying your name right Jacqueline if you're watching this, De Leon, um, but she made these awesome back patches and I was thinking that would be so cool, it's so easy, like it's on, hers is on canvas um like linen sort of deal and it looks amazing and back patches would be so simple to do really if i had like a screen printer even if i had like a um a stencil uh i think that would be pretty awesome and pretty easy to do so i don't know i'm gonna look into that a bit more and just see like what i can do i'm trying to take it all to the next level and um yeah <laughs> I'm trying to not overwhelm myself, but at the same time, I want to, I want to do more. And uh, yeah, I need to put up more original art. I've been doing a lot of tattoo commissions lately, just so I can, I can save up. I want to go to Japan at some point in the next couple of years. Um, so I'm like trying really hard to just pay things off and to try and get ahead. Uh, so yeah. I'm doing lots of commissions, but I'm going to stop here in a bit after I finish these ones up and I'm going to go back into doing more 
with my own stuff and I'm gonna be focusing on that. Um, also, I'm working on that comic at the moment um, and I haven't really addressed it and I don't know, I think I'm gonna wait to talk about it. Um, but I'm gonna do a video about it, kind of explaining what's happening and when it's gonna come out and all those sort of details and um, we still have to figure things out, like a lot of the names we need to figure out. Um, I have the character design sort of set, so I'm, I'm just working on her for now and working on her personality and um, we almost have the story rounded out, but we've done this in like the past two weeks, so it's gonna happen pretty quick and our ultimate goal is to hopefully <laughs> have it finished by like the new year so um it's basically going to be like it's gonna be our first comic and it's gonna be lopi and me making it for those of you who don't know lopi is my partner in life he's got his headphones on right now <laughs> um but yeah, so we're making this comic and it's going to basically be a prequel to our main comic that we want to make, which is going to be a webcomic. But yeah, this first one is basically going to be a test for us to see if we can actually handle making a giant webcomic because it is going to be huge in the grand like scheme of things. It's going to be a very, very, very long comic with a lot of details. So. Um, we're, we're gonna make sure we can handle a small comic and we're gonna do a um, like pre-orders and a small print run of this first comic and then um, if we if we are like okay yeah we can work with each other we can mesh well doing creative stuff and we know kind of like what to expect sort of so let's go ahead with it if we decide we can do that then we'll go ahead with men and and then being like the main comic and um, we will be making the webcomic so yeah it's been this crazy process and I'm really excited about it but I'm going to be juggling that along with my main art like this stuff so I'm gonna be doing this and I'm going to be doing um, oh, I'm gonna be doing I think I'm just gonna do this, like my personal art and the comic because I think I will need the break from the comic and commissions aren't really a break to me because it's still very structured um, in a sense that like I'm doing what someone else wants so I feel like I'll need the creative freedom and I do get a lot of creative freedom from my commissions, I love doing them but I feel like I'm, I'll not want the additional pressure, you know? So. I think that's what's going to happen in the months to come. Um, depending on my financial state, I might do commissions every now and then, but we'll see. I, I'm hoping that um, I can just work with my, my personal stuff and the comic. Um, I'm also wanting to get more into doing uh, oil paintings. I'd like to do a couple of them. I have some huge canvases sitting here and I really want to work on them. Um, I had some some uh, ladies send me some photos a while back of themselves and I would really like to get to painting them because they're awesome paintings or awesome photos and yeah I want to want to do some of that but I think I'm going to start with smaller paintings and then get into tackling my bigger canvases but yeah I do miss working traditionally um, on occasion so I'm gonna be doing that I've been not wanting to do digital stuff lately which really sucks because digital like art is so just malleable like you can just change it so much and there's just so much you can do with it but and this is like the biggest challenge I'm having with the comic right now is I don't know if I should maybe like do the thumbnails and the sketches and everything on paper and then scan it in and go about it that way because I just I don't know working on my Cintiq 
is awesome. And at first it was so amazing because I could actually look at the screen and draw on the screen and it was just wicked. But very shortly after, <laughs> I realized that it is just too small for me. And like, you're really supposed to draw with your arms um, instead of your wrists. And it's very hard to do that on on a Cintiq. And the screen is just like, I stick to it. So I need to get like a sleeve um, so I can properly draw on it as well. But it's just, I don't know, the setup I have with my Cintiq right now is very uncomfortable and frustrating. And it doesn't have the proper stand on the back. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with the design, but it just kind of, falls down so it never stays up the way I want it to and then like my arm is always bent so much when I'm trying to lean over it because it's falling over all the time and it's just kind of frustrating to work with and I'm really grateful to have it but at the same time like <coughs> bless me at the same time I think I really need an upgrade <laughs> And it sucks because they are so expensive. So I'm looking into alternatives um, and I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to just like fight through it and make the the comic on this Cintiq um, or if it would, if the comic would benefit from me buying a bigger one sooner. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I'm like, trying to find other options of what I can do because I, I don't think I'll be able to do a very good job on on this Cintiq or as good of a job as I could do if it was a bigger one. Ah, uh, that ended so abruptly. I am very sorry. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please click like and subscribe if you thoroughly enjoyed the video or even if you just liked it a little bit. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!